Hey guys, welcome back and I hope that you are all well. So I asked on my Instagram what kind of video that you guys would like to see from me and a few of you said a favorites video. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do my March favorites. Now, March is my birthday month, so of course it's one of my favorite months and typically it went very, very quickly. But thankfully here in the UK, we seem to be just transitioning into spring right at the end now. So hopefully things will start getting a bit warmer. But I thought that I would start with what I have on. So firstly, these earrings. Now I managed to miss these off of my ASOS haul and I don't know why. I think it's probably because I had worn them a few days before and forgot to put them back in. But these have been my savior this month. They are so chic and sophisticated when you're just wanting to put on a really simple outfit. So I don't know if you guys are like me, but getting up for work in the morning, especially the clocks have just changed and this week has been tough, so tough in the mornings. If I can't be bothered, if I don't know what to choose to put on, if I don't want something fancy, these just jazz up the outfit. They make me feel really put together and I've got so many compliments. Every single time I've worn these, I've got a compliment on them. So there must be something great about them. They're just gold um, kind of hoops. And then again, they got tortoiseshell on the end. If you saw my um, birthday, what I got for my birthday, I'm a bit into tortoiseshell jewelry at the moment. Um, but these I picked up before my birthday from ASOS, as I said on my ASOS all. And I'm pretty sure that they were quite inexpensive. I mean, they're not the best quality, but I have worn them so much already and really love them. And next, my jumper, kind of going on from the earrings. I've really wanted something cozy, but not too big a knit, because I'm kind of done with the bigger knits now. Um, so I wanted something that was like a kind of spring-like knit, something that's really cozy. I love my comfy, cozy clothes especially from like day to day or even at the weekend, perhaps if you've been getting dressed up to go to work all week and at the weekend you just wanna put something on where you feel good but it's comfortable. Or if you're running errands during the week, working from home, this has been amazing. It is so soft and I mean so soft. Like this is the kind of item that I don't wanna take off so I wear it all day and in the evening, I don't actually want to put them on my pajamas because this is almost nicer. Um, so it's H&M, I believe it was $29.99, but I will link it below. It's just a kind of like gray mull, I think it is kind of color. Um, and it's got a really nice neckline. It's semi-short in the body. I'll try and show you guys, but I'm not sure you'll be able to see. Um, semi-short in the body, so I just tuck it into my jeans there. Um, and it, it's, Again, I've lived in it to the point where I'm thinking of buying exactly the same color because I don't want this one to get worn out. Um, and I will be getting it in other colors, so definitely been a favorite for this month. Now on to a few beauty bits. So I don't get sent that many beauty bits. I wouldn't have said that I was a beauty blogger. Um, I started, you guys don't know, I started Instagram and my blog, oh, about a year and a half ago now. Um, and my blog is mostly fashion and travel, and my Instagram has been the same. I love beauty, but I just haven't ventured into that part of it much yet. So, for my beauty favorites, first of all, I have the mane and tail. I mean, I picked up the conditioner, but I have the shampoo and conditioner. My hair, I'd say, is quite a good length right now, but a few months ago, I was really struggling to grow it. My hair, I think, gets to a stage, it grows quite quickly, and it gets to a stage which I would say is like just under my shoulders, where it won't grow. It just stops. Like, I don't know why, but it just never in my whole life seemed to grow past that, like, just under the shoulder length. And this has done it. Genuinely, this has done it. Um, I've been using this every single morning, the shampoo and the conditioner. And it has, I've seen vast improvements in the length of my hair. I wouldn't have said that it has helped so much with the thickness of my hair, but it's definitely helped with like the health and the growth of it. So if you're looking to grow your hair, definitely give this a try. Also, I've looked at other kind of um, shampoos and conditioners and they're so expensive. I think these are $5.99, which 
isn't it super cheap, but to me that's quite cheap for shampoo and conditioner and they're really, really good size bottles. Um, I know it's a bit funny, my boyfriend always laughs being like, it's a horse shampoo, but it's great. I find it really, really good, so I would really recommend this. Then the GlossierBalm.com. Now I know this is a really popular product and so many people talk about it. Um, I have to say, I don't think it is the most amazing lip moisturizer. I still think my Elizabeth Arden kind of beats it if you're really, really wanting something really moisturizing. But the smell of this is, is insane. It's coconut, this is their coconut one and for me, at this time of the year, I feel like I just am needing some spring summer vibes and this gives it to me. It makes me feel happy when I put it on, genuinely. This gives you, like, I don't know if you guys ever feel like when you have a product that perhaps smells like a sun cream or something and it takes you to a holiday. This does this for me and I've been loving having it in my bag, taking it out and about. If it's a rainy day, put this on my lips and it makes me happy, genuinely. Then I've got the Urban Decay Primer Pencil. Now, I think that you can put this in a lot of different places, but I use it for my lips. I'm a bit lazy when it comes to my makeup, especially every day, like kind of more for going to work each day. And I find that I don't wanna to be topping up my lipstick all of the time, so I just swipe this around my lips and it stays for so long. It is a little bit on the drying side, um, it's definitely matte, as soon as you put it on it's quite matte, but I find that that's perfect for a base coat, um, and if I'm drinking or going out for cocktails or a meal or anything either, then this is really, really good. It just has such staying power with the lipstick. Next was a bit of a new one for me, it's the Glossier Skin Perfector. And I know that this has had a bit of mixed reviews. I personally have oily, kind of acne prone skin. And that is something that I'm gonna talk about at some point in a video, but maybe not just yet, kind of how I cured it and how I deal with it now, because my skin is in pretty good condition um, since kind of I went through a lot of heartache with it, to be honest. Um, and I know that this, I've seen pictures of before and after of some people with this, and it has really, really helped with their acne. Now, I don't have acne anymore, but I do still have acne scarring kind of around my chin area. And I'm thinking of doing a face peel at some point perhaps, but I'm still a little bit scared of it. So I thought that I would try this out to see if it helped. Um, I've only been using it and I don't think a month is long enough, so I will let you guys know again if I feel like I've seen a vast improvement with this, but so far it has been really good. I put it on every evening and it makes me feel really fresh. I feel like it is minimizing my pores, especially in my nose, and it is helping with kind of like my coloration around my chin. Um, but I do like to give products. I I really think that you don't see anything for six months. And I know that that may sound like a really long time, but I feel like with beauty products, you wanna get something that lasts and you can really properly put into your routine rather than just like swapping it in and out all of the time. So we'll see how this one goes, but so far so good. And then last for the beauty is of course, Jo Malone. This is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Now this is just probably, I'd say one of my all time all-time favorite fragrances. I've been through one of these already. Um, I got the Jo Malone advent calendar a few years ago and that's when I discovered this one. And at first I was like, oh, do I love it? But I love it so much. I probably don't go a day without wearing this. I do mix it, so I still wear it in the winter and these months, but I mix it with some of their darker colognes. Um, so it kind of makes it a bit warmer, but right now I've just been wearing this one on my own. It's so fresh. It's so, I say like beachy and summery, but it's still got, it doesn't feel like you're wearing, I mean, I feel like that sounds like you're gonna be wearing a Febreze or something that you'd put in a bathroom, but it's not at all like that. It still has like a warming, I wanna say vanilla, almost like a vanilla scent to it. I'm not sure if it does have vanilla in. Um, I'll have to try and put like a little description below 
but it's a really, really beautiful fragrance, especially coming into the spring summer months. Right, so I have a few like homey bits now and I'm going merging into them through beauty with a candle. Um, now this is one of my favorite brands, Sandy Bay. Um, you might not have heard from them because they are still quite a small brand, but the quality of their products is just amazing. If you like Jo Malone candles, then you will love this brand because the quality of fragrance is really 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 high um you can smell i mean this candle now i could smell it when i had it on the floor and it's not even lit so you can smell them when they're not lit which i love in a room if you're passing by it you can smell it if it's not lit then when they are lit they really fragrance and they fragrance beautifully it's not like that kind of sickly overpowering it's just stunning really stunning so if you're into kind of high-end candles but you don't want to quite pay the price. I think this one retails for about £27. Again, I'll link it below. Um, you will love this brand because they do some beautiful ones. I have the um, Persian Rose here, which is a bit of a funny one because I don't like rose, but it's much more of an oody, musky, dark rose. Um, so stunning, I just wanna keep smelling it. And I also have one lit uh, behind me, which you'll be able to see. Um, they do a really beautiful gentleman's club range as well. Um, so definitely go and check them out. So another one that you will see behind me are these hydrangeas. Now these are obviously um, faux, they're fake flowers. I, I, I'm okay with fake flowers, but I love fresh flowers. I wish that I could have fresh flowers in all of my rooms all year round, but it's definitely just not gonna happen because number one, that would be super expensive. And number two, right now they are dying so quickly with the heating on and it getting hot and cold. They don't even last a week in my flat anyway. I don't know, maybe I just have bad luck with them. But I like to have flowers in the bedrooms and kind of in my office here too. And I picked these hydrangeas. Now these were a little bit more expensive. They're from a shop called Oka. They do beautiful home interiors. Um, they are on the expensive side. So I just picked three um, big heads of hydrangeas from them and I have them sat behind me there. Um, and to be honest, I don't think that you need to buy a lot of them to make quite a big impact. But another store, which is on the cheaper scale, is Home Sense. Now, my Home Sense, and so I've been to a few Home Senses recently, they have so many of these false flowers and these hydrangeas as well, literally, nearly exactly the same. Um, I actually picked up a few smaller hydrangeas to sit in another bouquet that I have in another room, just to fill it out with my expensive ones because they do start adding up. But when I calculated how much I was spending on real flowers and how quickly they were dying, I was like, this, this is definitely worth it. So um, I've popped these behind and I will link both. I'll try and link some cheaper ones too because um, I think I got some eucalyptus. Can't remember the store, but it was an online store and they were really reasonable. So I'll put those below as well. I don't know how well you will be able to see this one. Hopefully it doesn't get totally blown out by the window behind you. But the print inside was actually a present that we got from my parents a few years ago now by one of my favorite, favorite artists, Ray Borkwell. Um, and he does beautiful paintings from scenes from the Southwest where I'm from. Um, and my mum got me a few prints from him and we needed to get them framed. If I'm honest, we waited what was it, a year and a half, maybe over a year and a half, to find the right frames. Now, I think that's because Ollie and I are still so young, we're not sure where we're gonna settle kind of housewise or what have you, so we didn't wanna invest. Frames are really expensive, and especially because this one had to be bespokely made. They're very expensive, and we were kind of searching through, and we just left it and left it. We didn't prioritize it. And then we found this online site. I can't remember the name, but I will put it below. Um, and it frames bespoke, so you can pick absolutely everything that you want. Um, you can pick the color, the size, the glass that you want. You can pick the mount. This one actually came with a mount. My parents bought it with a mount, so we didn't need to get that. Um, but you can do it totally bespoke. And this frame costs 25 pounds, which I know might not seem that cheap, but to have somebody make it bespoke, handmake, is 
is pretty good. Um, so we got two of these and I can't wait to hang them up in the house. I'm not a big drinker, but I do love a cocktail every now and then. And I feel like with cocktails, you can put as much of the alcohol in as you want and you can top it up with like some juice if you want to or something else. And this book is so fun. It's 365 days of cocktails. And the reason that I love it is that you can kind of pick a date inside. So like say either your birthday or something that's coming up. So maybe I'll try and pick one that's like around Easter. So that would be a fun one to do at Easter. Okay, so I've just flicked through to um, find where Easter was. And on Easter Sunday, it's not actually on the right day because obviously Easter changes each year. But on Easter Sunday, they have the Easter martini and it just, um, it gives the ingredients and then a little description, which I love. I love this kind of thing. And it is a chocolate martini, martini with a hint of vanilla and cardamom. It's got a soothing egg white for an extra festive touch, which I just think is so nice. I love making like a big deal of things. So this book is perfect for me and it just has so many suggestions, really beautifully laid out. I love that it has a picture. Um, so it's really fun. And also if you're not an alcohol drinker, I still feel like this is something that you could use because I don't, I usually sometimes like perhaps switch them out or just put a little bit in. Um, so yeah, really fun. And I think this would be a great present as well. And then lastly, my dear love, my phone. Um, now I had a um, kind of Apple case on it. I had the leather one and then I had the silicone one and I just wasn't getting on with it very well. And then my brother's girlfriend bought them new phone cases and they were so slim and nice to hold and mine felt so chunky and heavy in comparison. So I bought this one off of Amazon and it's in the most beautiful gold. Um, it's like a goldy pink. I wouldn't say it's quite copper. It might look copper on screen, I'm not sure, but it's kind of somewhere in between and it is super, super slim fitting to my phone. So I feel like there's not a case on it and it also goes down the bottom, which I know that the Apple ones don't, but I love that it covers the bottom and the speakers slightly too. It's the most insane, if I can try and take it off, material, because it is very, like, it's quite bendy and flexible, but not too much. Um, it doesn't, it's not like rubberized, it's still hard and it's still like quite protective, but it's easy to put on and really nice and soft on the buttons, which may sound a bit strange, but, um, I found that that was something that was quite nice <laughs> when I had it. I would definitely, I think I'm gonna buy this one in another color and I think Ollie's also gonna buy one too. Um, I will link them below. I'm not quite sure how much it was, but I, I, it was definitely cheaper than the Apple ones, I'm sure. Now I couldn't not put in a bit of an Easter themed thing and something foodie because I adore my food, especially not particularly good food but I couldn't resist this, the cream egg ice cream. I love this, I don't buy it very often. When I first tried it, I fell so in love. It's like a mixture between, I'd say the, you know, McDonald's used to do one and an actual cream egg. It does taste a lot like them. It's got like the um, inside, what would you call it? Like the yolk of the egg. It's got the same in there with little speckles of chocolate and then a vanilla ice cream and this is just delicious like so good mm. so tasty really quite sweet and if you're wanting an easter treat but you don't want lots of chocolate eggs and something that can keep or something that you can kind of have instead of chocolate it's a bit more refreshing this is so nice and it is like What's the time? Oh, it's 11.30 in the morning. That's all right to have some ice cream, isn't it? I think it's late enough, but yeah, you've got to go and try some of this. Okay, so that was it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I was loving this month. I am perhaps thinking, as soon as it is Easter weekend, this weekend, of doing a second video I always upload one a week on a Friday, but I'm thinking of doing a second one, perhaps a haul because I know you guys love my hauls. I'm thinking of maybe doing one. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my extra video and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, I'll just have to have one more bite, one more bite and then I'm done. Mmm, so good.
Now I've opened it. This is gonna go downhill.